We've investigated the board president. We've investigated clout admissions into CPS selected enrollment high schools. Uh, we call things as we see them. We're fair. Nobody tells us what to do. Um, we report on things so CPS can um, get rid of unscrupulous employees and bad vendors and implement uh, mm -hmm. controls that will prevent, hopefully prevent uh, further fraud and theft. And the public has to know that uh, an IG office is independent and will pursue leads wherever it takes them and will not quash things just because of who may be involved. We investigated the board president for um, misusing a CPS credit card for um, uh, misspending some board funds and we were also concerned about his role in the uh, clout admissions in the CPS like the Roman high schools. Uh, scheduled an interview with Mr. Scott on November 13th to speak with him on November 20th of 1999. Uh, unfortunately, he uh, committed suicide on November 15th. Uh, needless to say, it was, it was shocking. Um, uh, Mr. Scott was generally a good person, and despite what we had to talk to him about, he appeared to be uh, a very well-liked uh, person who was good for CPS, and for him to take things this personally. I know there was a lot of other things going on in his life at the time as well, but for that to lead to his demise um, was quite shocking and somewhat hard to handle. We've done a lot of work lately into, into data. Um, uh, CPS principals, administrators are evaluated on a variety of different data points, including student attendance, uh, grades, freshmen on track, uh, standardized test scores, graduation rates, um, dropout rates, and we've, we've reported a number of different issues. Uh, politics create the necessity of spinning information in your favor. Uh, data is uh, creates the perception. If you alter data, manipulate data, you create the perception that you're actually doing a good job. Um, nobody we talk to in these cases seems concerned that uh, they should use data to help educate the kids. I know the people we deal with, we've dealt with fairly, uh, consistently and fairly and honestly, and we try to do things as thoroughly as possible. And it's really our own motivation to get the job done and do it right that drives us. And we, we, I think we do good work, and it's easy to stand behind good work and uh, good people. The one I always think about is the investigation of a principal who was arrested for making a false report to the police about a student having a gun during a disturbance at the school. Mayor Daley publicly stated the principal should be fired. Michael Scott stated the opposite. We investigated interviewed all involved, including numerous police officers, and we found that uh, the principal didn't do anything wrong. She was not disciplined. And as a matter of fact, she, she won a lawsuit against the city because the police overreacted and did not follow protocol. I'm gonna miss the people I work with. We have a lot of great people here. Um, I've been fortunate over the years to work with some really wonderful people. I've had good deputies. Um, John Gazarowski, who's now at the City Colleges, mm -hmm. and Nick Schuler have been a tremendous help. Um, and uh, I'm gonna mostly miss the people I work with.